Welcome to Santon, Johannesburg's opulent financial district, also known as the richest square mile in Africa. It is a stone's throw from the township of Alexandra, equally vibrant, but with many people struggling to have a decent life. This is my house, it's where I'm staying. But now I'm outside the door, I can't get inside anymore. I, I need somebody to support me to get inside the house. The toilets are very far from me. People, they have to push me at night, go to the toilets. I've got one of my friends, I just phoned him. He stays next door there. Ben spent 48 years of his life under apartheid, a system of racial segregation that discriminated against black, colored, and Indian Asian people in South Africa for decades. Apartheid policies denied the majority of today's older South Africans a good standard of education, decent work, and the ability to save for older age. Kulenda wen shala kuyo, disuge ngo 1980 kulenda wo ape hostel. Kange mbwege mali ngoba, ben supporta bantu wana unge komtu sebe nza yo, ekaya, unge koma lendi zbege la yo. Florence is 79 and is eligible to receive the monthly older persons grant, about $110 from the government. It is for people aged 60 and above. She also receives an additional monthly grant in aid of 500 rand, about $25, to pay someone to care for her at home. She says the money does not go far enough to enable her to live with dignity. next door this is the Eastern Cape, one of South Africa's most beautiful provinces, but also one of its poorest. Here, there are very few government care and support services available for older people in the community. This is one of the few. The way older persons are treated by government is not acceptable. We find situations where government would say, I am not going to fund older persons and we have to take government to court for that. It shouldn't be like that. At the Dimbaza Society for the Aged, older people take part in social, educational, and other activities. In this center, there are a number of beneficiaries who want to, to come and register, but they can't do that because the money they have or the money they get from government is not enough. We do not receive enough money from government. So what's the point of uh, allowing uh, other beneficiaries to come in when in fact you are not going to have food for them? You, you can't do that.
umka and the pegele, the paguja, can lamb lay on the pagge, and the lamp and the tin. Bangaba could tell a good bell place, and get a fit. So the anger be co. Isa Nanjago Kelly to a pending inns and then open zek. Is a hang, a ban to a bazongena, or would it have be some limas, a bayam reaper, bayam and zongas, or some dresses, Naku, and the capicos are cocoomed, as Bunny Bon Massala is a handsapelali. Dibe Guamna, the fig and dinner caloba, I wonder, who can an opinion and pet cackling. Pamela would like someone to support her mother when she is at work but her wages and her mother's older person's grant are not enough. South Africa is obligated under international human rights law to ensure that older people can live independently and within the community. And it goes on to the end of the day, 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 the The constitution provides that their dignity must be protected. It says that you know government must uh, provide uh, funding to these people. La pe parliament de una bo koko abafiga be banyini koto abazi into una bo koko abazi abagaze ba vilenge bati si funwenze la o koko something luto. Give I bo, give I bo.